Hi everyone, it's Susan. I wanted to welcome you to our series, Business Building Basics, and these videos that I'm creating are really to serve you, the entrepreneur, the person who's saying, gosh, I want to build a business, but I have questions. And a lot of the questions that I find people ask are really, really simple things. So today we're going to focus on how do you call the person that is on your chicken list? Now, if you're not familiar with the term chicken list, the chicken list is a, a list of people that you're literally like, burp, 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 burp totally chicken to call, okay? And the reason is, is because you decided somehow that they are more important than you, they don't wanna to listen to you, you just have a great degree of fear. Now, in today's lesson, this isn't just for people who own businesses. If you have any job responsibility at all, where you have to make calls, this is just for you. So I'm gonna teach you a tip that was taught to me by my mentor, Harvey McKay, New York Times bestselling author of Swim the Sharks or Get Eaten Alive. And this is gonna help you tremendously. Now, a lot of this is common sense and you may say, Susan, I already know it. And if it is, kudos to you if you're already doing this. But if you aren't, this will help you call that chicken list and have a good time in the process. So the first thing you wanna do is the night before, and it always has to be the night before, it has to be within 12 to 24 hours of the physical call you're making, is to go and use our friend Google. So let's say I wanted to call Harvey, and Harvey owns the McKay Mitchell Envelope Company. He's got a lot of things going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Google and I'm gonna type Harvey McKay. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is just look at the web of Google. So the thing that comes up is his website and if someone that you're calling has a website, you wanna check it out. So I go on Harvey's website and I'm seeing number one Wall Street Journal, number one Amazon, all sorts of things, number one, top 10 New York Times bestseller. So I look at that and I see his blog. If someone has a blog, it's a really good idea to read their most recent blog post, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. So I see, okay, he's got a campaign, help me spread the word. Okay, I, I'm getting everything I really need to know there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the button that says News on Google. So if you scroll across the top, you're gonna see web, videos, books, images, news. News is really important because people who are very productive, super busy, they're often in the news and if they have news going on about them, you wanna mention it in your call. Now don't just think it's for famous people. You could have a person that you're calling and you look them up and they won a Qantas Club award or they were just recently acknowledged by an association or they're written up in their local paper. Write a note to yourself because you wanna have at least three to five talking points to get your foot in the door. And showing that you've done your homework is gonna automatically elevate you in that conversation. So I see the most recent news on Mr. McKay is his column. He has a published column that goes out to many newspapers and it's different than his blog post. That's really important as well. So I look and I say, okay, I'm gonna take a minute to read that. So I scroll down, a lot of these are different different articles that he's written as a syndicated columnist and I see, okay, great, I know exactly what to do. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on his social media. Now I'm using Harvey as an example because I know him and I know that he doesn't tweet in real time and things like that. So I'm gonna take a look at his Facebook page and again, it's one of his more recent columns, but I'm also taking a look, this is important why you wanna go on Facebook or Twitter, to see what other people have written in response to his column. So once I have this information, now I'm ready to make the call. If you have a person that you're friends with on Facebook and you can see their personal account, you will also want to take a look and see maybe they got a new puppy, maybe they have a new baby, maybe they just came back from vacation. Again, three to five talking points before you make the call. So what I do is the night before I write out these points and every person who is important that you're going to call could be worth tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions of dollars in sales for you or your company that you're in. So doing your homework is important and, and it could take as little as five minutes. It could take 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. I read out all my notes. The next day when I'm making the call, I say, 
hello, Mr. McKay, or if I have an appointment, hello, Harvey, it's great to connect with you. And right out the gate, I wanna say something like, I just read your most recent column, and by the way, I love all the comments people posted on Facebook. I noticed there was one here from Des Moines, Iowa, and this person loved what you had to say. That is gonna to prove to this person that you are serious about doing business because you pay attention to detail. The next thing I wanna give you is, so you're getting in the door, you're having that conversation, but convert Firstly, when is it time not to make the call? As you all know, I do not believe we should procrastinate, but here's the thing I will tell you. If you go on the person's social media, the Facebook, and you see a relative has just died, maybe their pet has just passed away, or something is going on in their life, push them forward and make the call in one to two weeks. And that way you're still getting in the door and saying something like this, Harvey, and again, I'm just making this up. Harvey, I'm so sorry to hear that your dog has just passed last week and, and condolences to you. It must be really hard on your family. Again, showing that you've done your homework, showing that you're being respectful. So that's your business building tip for today is just to do your homework. And when I started to do this and do that advanced planning, it was amazing. I was having better conversations I was attracting higher caliber people and guess what the chicken list totally dissolved so with that I encourage you to connect with me on my website www.susansly.com and I'll see you next time